All right, welcome back. I just got my magical goop from the Truffle King. And uh, last episode, we finished uh, the uh, the Polar Knight stage. I defeated two more wandering travelers and got the achievement for defeating all of them. Uh, and uh, now I'm going to buy some armor upgrades and likely I will go to the Propeller Knight stage. Because I feel like seeing what their airship, what that airship looks like. Okay. So, I think I can only purchase armor, honestly. The ticket to get in the place, that weird place, the Hall of Champions, it was 5k. But I'll get 5k before then, because yeah, I'm going to have to complete two stages before then, so... I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, and I don't have to, like, repurchase every single piece of armor. Yeah, okay. It's like I bought it and I have it, because it would suck if I had to, like... ...re-grind money to repurchase a piece of armor that I had already purchased. But it's... I have it, for good. That's good, that's good, I like that. Alright. Uh, so... Also, what's this? Shortcut? Hey, I heard that there is a super hidden double secret in the Hall of Champions. Where could it be? Okay. I gotta check it out sometime then. Oh, it's just... okay. Four music sheets, thanks! Okay. Alright, so... Oh yeah, meal ticket. Have it, buddy. Okay, so after this, I should have... Yeah, exactly. 9 out of 10 HP points. HP points. Health points. Because HP already stands for health points. Oh! Another music sheet. Thank you very much, sir. Alright. And, uh... Okay, I'm back here. Okay, so everything's done. All right, so how much did this cost to each? This is six every time. How much is the... What? Horns, the finest instruments. They really come to life in a duet. Oh, I have the horn. There you go. Wait, can I use it next to you? Oh, that's cool. Oh, man, he just gives me magic. Well, then... Uh, fishing rod costs six. This costs eight. Okay, that's good. Okay. So, I don't have enough money to go to the Hall of Champions yet. However, I will attempt to complete the flying machine. The Lair of Propeller Knight. Get digging. I'm gonna equip my little immunity thing. Okay. Okay, so this blows me upwards and... I want to get up there. Okay, so there, there's that hole in the ceiling which I probably can fall down from. Okay. Okay, I'll try doing that and see if it works. Yeah, it that's likely the situation. First, I'm gonna try to coin these guys and get some cash. Pretty good. Pretty a pretty good amount of cash. Alright, so I'll hug the left wall and I got it. Okay. Alright, I hope that's a reoccurring mechanic. Okay, so ba boom. Okay, so you guys gotta perish before I perish accidentally because of y'all. A boom, please, sir. Unalive. Thank you very much. Aha, uh -huh, so. Excuse me? Oh, okay, it's wind. I thought my controller was drifting. Goodness, okay. I'm glad it's a game mechanic. 
Because I thought, yeah, I can move the game with, like, the thumbstick. I thought it was, like, my thumbstick, like, drifting to the right for a second. I got scared. Like, Jesus, like, imagine my controller breaking mid-playthrough. That would be slightly super inconvenient. All right, so, uh... Oh? What? Oh, I'm inside! Okay. Yeah, the, the wind just blew me inwards. Look at this. Whoop! There you go. I'm inside, so... No wind. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So, for the last two episodes, I've been mentioning some video games, some classical, some just absolute gems of video games, or just, like, games that I love that are not available anywhere, and if they are, like, most of them are in a very poor state, like, if, if available in, like, official, legitimate ways to purchase them, they usually suck. No, not because you have to pay for them. I'm, I'm not, like, a stingy bastard or whatever. Because I did mention that, like, they- Oh, no, 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 no! Okay, some of these games are only available, like, on the Nintendo, like, live service thing. And the Nintendo service is always- gosh darn suck. They always do. Always, always do. Because, like, they had this, like, giant library of games on the Wii, and you had to repurchase them when you moved on to the Wii U! And then, what you, you know what they did? They abandoned it. So all the purchases you made, gone. If you don't have the consoles working, gone. And the services are, are also shut down. So, like, even if you put up your legitimate consoles that you purchased with your money, with your valuable money, you can't download the games because they just decided to shut down the servers. And that's so putrid. And from my experience, like, in the world of, like, actually developing video games and knowing the market, knowing how these companies work, how, what they do, what they don't do, it's very likely that Nintendo is... Oh, hey, guy. It's very likely that Nintendo is also gonna, like, erase their current lineup again and start from scratch again. Because it's what they do all the time. They just make these terrible decisions. I don't get it. But, like... Okay, so moving on, I think I ended with um, Final Fantasy Tactics Advance last episode. I think it's the last one I mentioned. That one was available on the Wii and the Wii U, by the way. You could purchase those games back then. But uh, if you did, you cannot access them anymore because those consoles are not being sold and their online services, like their storefronts, are shut down. Even if you bought them, you cannot re-download them. I'm so sorry. This feels secrety. Yes, it is. All right, there was this, like, big lip, like, this big chunk of fat level design protruding this way, so, you know. All right. Can I go up here by doing this? No, I cannot. I must use the ladder. Okay, so, there's a bunch of, like, Tales of games. They are pretty popular nowadays, you know, like, Tales of Berseria. Wait, I want to go down there. How do I get to you? Do I... Oh, I probably have to go, like, upstairs. Okay, I'm gonna get these things first. And shovel downwards and use the downward momentum to overpower the force of the wind. Why did I do that? Just go downwards like this and hold right, and I'm there! There we go, baby! Alright, so as I was saying, Tales of, uh, like, Tales of Rosiria, Tales of Zestiria, Vesperia... Like, all of those games, right? Pretty good games. Uh, most of them are, are available nowadays, but there are some which aren't. And as far, as far as I'm aware, like, the Tales of Vesperia, like, HD remaster, whatever, for Steam. There we go again. In the village or out in the field, I have all the deals. All right, propeller dagger. What do you do for me, sir? Soar through the sky blade first. Now you can reach all sorts of places. Through the sky, like, is it like a double jump? Oh, it's an air dash! Okay, thank you. That's actually useful. Oh. Gosh dang, that's pretty good. Okay. So as I was saying, like, there's a bunch of, like, Tales of games. Oh yeah, Tales of Her Eyes, I forgot about that one. Um, the Tales of series nowadays is pretty popular. Like, back then, it was pretty niche. Kind of like the Persona games, you know? 
like before like I didn't know any single human being that knew about Persona 1, 2, or 3. But ever since Persona 4 Golden Oh tiny fish! Aw, oh, look at you. But ever since Persona 4 Golden and especially Persona 5. Like, those games are mainstream now. Before they were just like these oh no. Before they were just like these obscure like pieces of software. Like exclusively for nerds. You know? But now they're pretty popular. Like the Tales of series. I wouldn't say they're as mainstream and like as well known. Do I still keep the dagger? Yes, I do. Can I do this? I cannot. Okay. So I know for a fact that like from what I've looked into, <clears throat> the original Tales of Fantasia is not available anywhere. Like the first one that ever came out, I think was the first for the Super Nintendo, I'm pretty sure. Because I remember being like a little kid and, um, uh, yeah, I gotta use the thing. And like playing that one game and it had some voice acting in it, which was amazing for the time. <coughs> like there were like these voice samples of like the protagonist saying, it, it's a very common skill in like all of the Tales of games now. It's called Demon Blade. It's like a shockwave, kind of like this, like this little skill. It's a shockwave that like it goes through the floor until it hits an enemy or just like travels a short distance or whatever. Like Tales of games either always or almost always have that skill or a very, very close equivalent. And whenever you used it, it just went like Demon Blade, Demon Blade, Demon Blade, Demon Blade. It was like super compressed, bit crushed. It was adorable, and I loved it. Like I don't think that game's available anywhere. Tales of Eternia is not available anywhere, and I remember enjoying the game. That game also had like appalling voice acting, but I remember like the game part being pretty good, honestly. Uh, I know Tales of Graces F, which was the one Tales of game I've ever finished. Because it's a pretty good game. Like, the story is whatever, but it's a pretty good game. So, Tales of Graces F, it's not available anywhere as far as, far as I'm aware. Because if it was, I can guarantee you I would have had it by now. Because, But I really don't think it is anywhere. Tales of Hearts. The remake was made for the... Oh my goodness, it was made for the PlayStation Vita. Yikes. And I don't think that Tales of Hearts game is available anywhere, honestly. I mean, I'll, I'll double check after this episode, but like, I'm pretty sure it's not like anywhere, period. Because the Vita's dead. It was, it was dead on arrival, truth be told. Like, Sony almost immediately dropped support for that thing. Like, half a year, a year in at best. My goodness, they... Oh my god, they, they were like, they were slacking. I got some very choice words about like, ah oh goodness, I got I got very choice words about like how poorly they managed everything regarding the Vita, because they were essentially a proto switch, because it was a powerful handheld console, and they even like released an add-on in which you could connect it to the TV, but it was like a hundred bucks or something back then. They even tried like reducing the price of that garbage. But they had, like, proprietary memory cards, which, like, cost insanely, like, way too much. It was a memory card, dude. Like, they were trying to reinvent the wheel, but, like, for it's the same product for, like, a shittier, like, huge price markup. It was so bad. Like, what the hell were they doing? Yeah, I'm not gonna get that money. Please die. Okay, can I? Yes, I got my money. And yeah, like, Tales of Hearts is just stuck on that thing. Persona 4 Golden was stuck on the Vita for the longest time. But thankfully, a kind... The kind souls over at Atlas actually... Or Sega, yeah, I think now, like... Atlas is a Sega, like, subsidiary. But now you have it on Steam and everybody can enjoy it. Pretty good. Let's see, what else? Um, there are a couple of Kingdom Hearts games that you cannot play. Like, besides that, real, those really old, like, phone ones. Like, there was, like, the actual Kingdom Hearts coded game. I never played that. And it looked like a mess, but it's it's a shame that it's not preserved anywhere. But I know that, like, the original... Original, okay? 
uh, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. It's not available anywhere. There is a remake for the game, which was also available on the big Kingdom Hearts collection, but the original Game Boy Advance version, nowhere to be found. Nowhere. It was probably available on, like, the Nintendo Wii or Wii U shops back at, time, back at the time. But it's nowhere to be seen nowadays. It's like another one of those games that, like, if you want to play it, you got to get a ROM in an emulator, honestly. There was also that one with you only played as, okay, I'm going up and down. And up. Okay, so this only goes up and down. Okay, 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 not bad. There was also that one game that you played as Roxas for the entire game. It wasn't like the beginning of Kingdom Hearts 2 where you have like that big intro sequence. It was Kingdom Hearts 300. Okay, so up and to the right. Oh, goodness, I got to be very careful with that. So I fall down and I go up. Okay, so Kingdom Hearts 350 something divided by two or whatever. It's it's a garbage title. It's a garbage title. A lot of Kingdom Hearts fans, like, they're just under a lot of copium and they just can't accept that, like, both the story and, like, most of these games titles are just, like, putrid. At best, they're putrid. But the game, were the game was good, you know? The game itself, like, the gameplay for the Nintendo DS was pretty good. There's also Kingdom Hearts Recoded, which I enjoyed. Not the story, because it was, you know, it's a Kingdom Hearts game, and those are... Those stories are not good. <laughs> like, I can vouch for, like, the beginning of Kingdom Hearts 2 at best. Because it's got, like, a cool intro, and, like, your character's living in a simulation, and he doesn't know it, and his life's a lie. It's an amazing setup, by the way. It's like a true men show kind of thing. But, like, he becomes self-aware, and when he does, like... The viruses are like the heartless or whatever. They try to kill him. It's a it's an amazing setup. Oh, okay. So boss room. Ah, my petite blue friend, the sunset. She is beautiful, no? All right. Oh, I think I skipped the dialogue. <laughs> Whoops. Ah, whatever. I'm here to fight, not to talk anyways. Okay, okay, okay. Ma'am. Thou art rude. Okay, uh... Oh! Oh, no! Okay, okay! Okay! Uh... Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! No! I don't want to fall. I don't want to fall. I'm not gonna fall. Please die. There we go, lady. Goodness! Alright! So those three Kingdom Hearts games are not available anywhere. Chain of Memories, 352 by... No, 358 by 2. Whatever. And recoded. Those are not available anywhere. And... Oh yeah, the GTA! I played that a lot when I was a kid. GTA 3. The original one in Vice City. Like, those got butchered and removed from, like, Rockstar Games' thing. Like, you cannot purchase those anymore, and, uh... All you're stuck with is that shitty remake. <laughs> Soul Calibur 2 is also gone. That was my favorite fighting game for a long time. Okay, so Frigid Flight. Maybe I'm gonna put you, purchase some armor upgrades first. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I, I should do that before I lose all my money. Uh, so, you. I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna purchase the two of you. And after this, I don't think there's anything else I can spend my money on besides the entry ticket for the Hall of Champions, honestly. Yeah, and I think that's it. Yeah. So yeah, Soul Calibur 2 is not available anywhere in any console. It was available very briefly on the PlayStation 3 or 4 or something. But it got taken down, I don't know why. I really, I really don't know why. And these two very guilty pleasure games, oh my goodness. I have those two. I have, no, I have three of them. Yeah, I have Sonic Rush, Sonic Heroes, and Sonic Riders. Those three games are nowhere to be found. Like, three pretty big Sega games. All right. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. As I thought. Because if I came here without this dagger, 
I would have probably jumped to the right a couple of times and I would have felt stupid about it because I wouldn't have been able to clear the jump. So, yeah, I really needed this in order to even begin the stage. But my god, Sonic Rush is amazing. It, got, it reviewed amazingly back then. Yeah, there's a lot of propeller action here. Propeller dagger action. Okay, ba boom, ba boom. Okay, get this and okay. Oh, that's a lot of cash. I'll probably have enough money to go to the Hall of Champions next episode. Okay, do this, stab, do this, stab, go. And uh, man, oh yeah, even if I managed to miraculously get over here, I wouldn't have been able to jump to that like other ledge. I wouldn't need the propeller dagger actually otherwise i'd be a goner okay so okay oh man oh this is it's tighter than it looks it is way tighter than it looks my goodness okay but at least i got it okay ah uh, like i can't Oh, Eternal Sonata! Eternal Sonata, I love that game. It's kind of, like, the story's kind of bad. Dialogue is pretty painful. It's a PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 game. Like, the game got remastered for the PlayStation 3 with more content. So what's the timing on this? To the right, it electrocutes. To the left, it doesn't. I got it, okay. A boom, stab, go! There we go, baby! Oh, okay, so I gotta go up. And right we go. Yeah, there we go. Eternal Sonata, it's a pretty amazing video game. Like, it had a mechanic that it blew my mind when it came out. Because like, even when I was young, like I started, actually I started really for really making video games when I was 11. Started programming and messing around with RPG Maker and stuff. Yeah, I got 5K, I'll probably do the Hall of Champions. Eternal Sonata has a light and darkness mechanic like if you stand in the sun or in the shadow you have different skills and it was so cool it was like this pseudo tactical rpg and action rpg at the same time such a good game it looked amazing on the playstation 3 even it it, it looked like a playstation 4 game in some at some points because it's it was so pretty all right so hall of champions yeah, I think I'm gonna do the Hall of Champions during the next episode. Let me just, uh, let me see what is left. So Tinker Knight and probably what's ever to the right. All right, so uh, I think that's enough for one episode. Yeah, so yeah, we accomplished a lot. Yeah, defeated a knight, got this. I, I finished buying all of the armors. And now I'm going to do the Hall of Champions next episode. So yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.